Hi guys, today we are going to make something really delicious. We have a river trout here that we are going to fry in um, a special way. And we are going to make a cucumber salad and we are going to have potatoes. I will not show you how to make potatoes, you know that. Starting with a bowl of water here, just two and a half, three cups of water. And then I'm adding a couple of tablespoons with vinegar and a couple of tablespoons with sugar and making a sweet and sour type of water. And um, I had approximately two and a half cup of water. And uh, to get it real sweet and sour, I had to add approximately four tablespoons of sugar and four tablespoons of vinegar. Now taste it and it's going to be real sweet and sour. You can do that. Now, as you can see, I've used my cheese slicer and I made thin slices like this. And just put it down in the sweet and sour water here and let them rest there for about, well, half an hour, an hour. Now for doing the fish, I just uh, cut off the head and I've just cleaned it. And it's going to be like it is. Some butter and sour cream, that's important. And salt, that's what I use. Okay. Now you can basically use any type of freshwater fish or even saltwater fish like mackerel. But of course, river trout and small salmons, they make a perfect taste for this dish. And it's um, just a Norwegian thing. I always put some salt in the water when I boil potatoes. They taste much better. And uh, when you make this uh, dish, make the cucumber salad first because it is going to rest for a while to get the real taste, the sweet and sour water. Um, then put over the potatoes and uh, when they're almost done, you can start with the fish because that one is done within 10, 12, 13 minutes. Now what is so beautiful with this fish is that the meat is pretty orange or pink and um, it's been eating a lot of those small creatures in the water that makes him, the, the, the meat in the fish this color. And uh, while the potatoes are boiling, um, I have pre-melted some butter in my frying pan and um, keeping, it, keeping it on low heat, right? And now we're going to add sour cream. Adding sour cream into the frying pan. Well, putting the fish into it and uh, start to heat up. Not, don't burn it. Don't overdo the heat. Just let it slowly but surely. Uh, you will see that the sour cream starts to melt and mix in with the butter and uh, do that. Putting on some more sour cream, placing a top over it and increasing the heat until you can see it starts to fry. Then reduce it like it's just kind of simmers in there for about five, six minutes. And then we are going to turn it. I'm a bit like a wild man, so I'll fry the head too. There's a lot of taste in that meat, that fish. Now you can see it starts to fry here. Then when it, when it does, I'm reducing the heat so it doesn't burn, so I don't burn it and I'll keep it there. Placing a top over it and let it rest in the sour cream. I am using 37% uh, sour cream. It's very fat, but if you have 20 or 27, it's perfect. Just have to show you, I'm not frying very hard. It's just like a bit hard, but not too hard, okay? And after seven, eight minutes, 
I turn it around, flip it around, and you can see here, this is done. Perfect. Look at that meat. Absolutely gorgeous. Then give it seven, eight minutes on low heat on the other side, low heat, and um, let it rest a bit, and then it's done, ready to serve. This is looking very good. Two, three more minutes, and we are going to make a gravy out of that sour cream. Watch. Now I have removed the fish. Oh, that looks just perfect. Not burned, it's just like almost boiled in sour cream. Now, looking at the sour cream and butter in the bottom of the frying pan here, adding a little bit of white wine. And whisking it together. It's a lot of taste here from, from um, the fish, the sour cream, and a bit from the, from the white wine. That's it turning off the heat and when it's done uh, the cucumbers taste a bit like sweet and sour a bit of lemon here if you want to squeeze out something I put some sour cream on the potatoes and the rear end of the fish is the best that I know some fresh uh, sour cream here and the gravy that we made this is a uh, fantastic taste oh I wish you were here. See you around, guys.